Analytica uses visual influence diagrams to make models easier to create, communicate, and maintain. This video tutorial shows you how to use Analytica's influence diagrams to make models more transparent and intuitive. An influence diagram is a graphical representation of a model showing how different variables in the model interact with each other. A typical influence diagram consists of a number of nodes connected by arrows. In this diagram, the arrow from buying price to cost to buy means that the price of the house affects the overall cost of purchasing it. The influence diagram shows the essential qualitative structure of the model under which one can build a detailed quantitative model. Each node shape in the influence diagram has a certain meaning. The green rectangular nodes are called decision nodes and are usually things the decision maker has the power to control. For example, whether or not to buy a house. The oval nodes are called chance variables and represent uncertain quantities that cannot be controlled directly. For example, the rate of inflation over the time horizon. The blue variable nodes are standard variables. For example, the discount rate. The pink hexagons represent objective nodes, in this case the cost of buying and renting a house. And finally, an important extension to a conventional influence diagram is the index node, which in Analytica corresponds to a dimension such as time. Now, let us look at how to construct an influence diagram from scratch. Let's say we want to compute the area of this building of some width and length. To start, I'm going to switch from browse mode into edit mode. And as soon as I do this, I get a palette of variables that becomes available to me to construct my influence diagram. I can now drag variable nodes into the diagram window for the width and length respectively. Next, I can drag a variable for the area. And we know that the area is a function of the width and length. And this functional relationship can be established by using the arrow tool. I can now draw arrows from the width and length to the area variable respectively. To edit the definition of area, we can access its definition attribute by clicking the key icon down below. And we know that the area of the building is the length times the width, a simple product. Now, we have established a qualitative relationship between these variables without yet entering any numerical values for them. We can now enter some input values for the width and length respectively. Let's assume the width is about 40 feet while the length is about 100 feet. When we compute the result of the area variable we expect its value to be about 4000 square feet. And with this we have constructed a very simple and intuitive influence diagram in Analytica. This concludes the video demonstration on Analytica's influence diagrams.